Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're about to make a budget-friendly Thanksgiving meal. I got all of this great food for under $50, so let's get right into it. We're going to make Cornish hens, sweet potatoes, dressing, cabbage, sweet potato cornbread with some cranberry sauce. And I'm going to start off by cleaning my chicken. Now, first of all, if you like clean chicken, I need you to hit that like button because I love me some clean chicken. You don't have to clean your chicken. You can skip this part, but if you have some vinegar or if you have a spare lemon, laying around just put you some water in the bowl get off any impurities any extra feathers etc so now that we've done that we're going to make a little compound butter for our chicken. so i have a stick of room temperature butter i'm going to mix it with some italian seasoning and some parsley i'm then going to take that compound butter and put it all over the cornish hens if you want you can add garlic you can add seasonings to your compound butter but i'm going to individually season these so i'm not adding seasoning to the butter. I hate when I get a piece of chicken or a Cornish hen and the skin is kind of ripped apart. What you can do to combat that is take a paper towel, dry that piece off, and then your butter should stick a little better even though the skin is ripped. That allowed my butter to stick for that Cornish hen that's on the left. And now I'm just gonna season this up with some salt, some pepper, some garlic powder, some onion powder, and some paprika. Now this part is optional. When I'm baking turkey, chicken, or hens, I like to put down a little bit of vegetables. So I'll grab a little bit of onion or a little bit of bell pepper, and I'll put that in the pan first, and then I'll put the meat on top. I like doing that because sometimes it will help prevent sticking, and it just helps with the overall flavor. So next, we're gonna move on to our cornbread. We're gonna make some dressing, but the foundation of dressing or stuffing is cornbread. So if we're gonna stick to the budget that we have with $50, probably buying all those individual ingredients like the flour, the cornmeal, and everything else that goes with it might be out of the budget. So we're gonna use this Jiffy cornbread mix to get us the same results. For the cornbread, we're gonna mix this according to the directions on the box. It's one third cup of milk I believe one egg mix everything up and bake until golden brown so now we're gonna take this cornbread out I let it cool off just a little bit we're gonna break it up and crumble it into fine pieces Today when I went shopping, I stopped at Aldi's and I stopped at Little Giant Farmer's Market and I was able to get all the ingredients that we needed for this dish. At first I was kind of skeptical, but I was able to make it work. Now, I want to know, do you guys call this dressing or do you call it stuffing? I know it depends on where you're from or what region you live in, but I'm very curious. So let me know in the comments below. Now that we've mixed up all the basics for our dressing, I'm going to take our chicken out the oven and I'm going to put these on a separate aluminum pan and I'm going to put those back in the oven. But I want the juice from the chicken, AKA the stock. So we're going to use that chicken stock and we're going to pour that into our dressing mixture. We're going to also pour in some water and we're going to mix that up and see if it's the consistency that we like. When I'm cooking a recipe like dressing or stuffing, I like to add in the eggs last because that actually allows for me to taste the dish and make any additional changes before I put it in the oven. And everything we're cooking today, we're going to bake on 350 degrees. Now, I know there's a lot of people that follow the page that may benefit from making budget meals, whether you're a new college student and you're in your dorm and you just have an air fryer and a hot plate, or whether you just moving into your new home and you're kind of strapped for cash and you want to have a great holiday, but you spend everything on moving, whatever the scenario is, trust me, I understand and I've been there. And I just wanted to show you guys that you can definitely make a great, delicious holiday meal and not stress about the finances. So next, I'm going to take some sweet potatoes. I'm going to boil them until they're slightly tender. Then I'm going to peel the skin off just like this. Make sure you guys are careful when you're dealing with really hot stuff that's starchy and make sure you're careful with the knives as well. So next, we're going to take our sweet potatoes, cut them into coin shaped pieces. They're about maybe one fourth inch thick pieces. And I'm going to take a couple of those sweet potato pieces and sit them aside for our sweet potato cornbread. This is a fun way to jazz up your cornbread 
whether it's homemade cornbread or Jiffy Mix, the sweet potato will definitely take it to the next level. So mix this up thoroughly until it's well combined. Make sure your oven is preheated to 350 degrees. I'm going to bake this for about 25 to 30 minutes or until it's golden brown. You can stick a toothpick in the middle and if you stick that toothpick in and you pull it out and there's nothing on a toothpick, it's done. But if you stick that toothpick in and when you pull it out, there's still some batter on there, that means cook it some more. Now let's cut up our cornbread into individual pieces. I like to do this step when the cornbread has cooled off just a little bit. It's so hard not to steal a piece because it smells so good and it's so warm. It smells buttery and sweet potato-y. It just smells like a whole bakery in here. Take a look. This looks so moist and so delicious. You should really try this if you've never tried it before and let me know how you like it in the comments below. Now we're going to move on to our sweet potatoes. We're going to start off by melting some butter. We're then going to add in some ground cinnamon. We're also going to add Add in some ground nutmeg followed by vanilla extract we're gonna mix that up and just make sure it's thoroughly mixed and combined before we add our brown sugar in we're gonna mix that up as well and as you can see the consistency is now a lot thicker we're then going to add in some white granulated sugar, and that's the perfect consistency that I'm looking for. Next, I'm going to take my sweet potatoes and layer them in a baking pan. Then you want to take that mixture and pour it over top the sweet potatoes. Now I'm curious, do you guys eat marshmallows on your sweet potatoes? Growing up back in my day, my grandma didn't make her sweet potatoes with marshmallows, but I wanted to try something different. I actually like it, but I really don't make them often. So today's dish is dedicated to those who love sweet potatoes with marshmallows. So as you can see, these look so delicious. They're nice and tender, but we're going to kick them up another notch. So I have these mini marshmallows. I'm going to pour them on top put them back in the oven and let them bake while I'm cutting up the cabbage. Cabbage is a great inexpensive dish that you can add to any meal. It's flavorful and it really helps with the budget. So why not add that to this Thanksgiving dinner? Cabbage is one of the only remaining things on the planet that's cheap, but you get a lot of. So we're gonna prep our cabbage we're gonna cook some bacon so we can get some good pork fat and some good seasoning for our cabbage. I'm then gonna take some onions. I'm gonna saute those as well. And we're gonna mix the onions and the bacon with the cabbage and honey. That's one of my favorite dishes, whether it's Thanksgiving or not. This cabbage is sure to please you. Now, the one thing about cabbage, you have to season it. So I'm going to add some garlic. I'm going to add some onion. We're going to add some salt, some pepper. If you have any other seasonings in your cupboard that you like to add, I say go for it. If you have like a, a bouillon chicken packet that's left over from before, you can even add something like that in and it will taste great. My key little tip with cabbage, it's okay to add a little sugar to get some of that bitterness out. Please make sure you guys are tasting your food as you're cooking it. That way, if you want to add some more seasonings to it, you can. And even if you over seasoned it, you can still mitigate it before it's too far in the cooking process. Now let's move on to dessert. So I have a box of strawberry cake and we are not about to follow the instructions. So I have some eggs and I have some oil. We're not going to add any water. We're going to mix this up and it looks kind of stiff, but that's exactly how we want it. Now we're going to scoop the batter onto the parchment paper. I'm going to make at least six cookies. If you want to make them smaller, you can make about eight. I baked these for about 12 to 13 minutes on 350 degrees and they came out like this. They look so good and they smell even better. And guys, it's not officially Thanksgiving unless you have this jiggly jelly cranberry sauce. So after I struggled to get it out the can, I was able to slice it into thin pieces and then transferring it into a cute, servable, presentable dish. Now that everything is done, I think we were able to make a pretty good Thanksgiving meal for under 50 bucks.
The Cornish hens look delicious. We have dressing, we have sweet potatoes with marshmallows, we have cabbage, we have cranberry sauce along with sweet potato cornbread, and we even have dessert, which is strawberry cookies. Now we've been waiting this entire time to eat, so grab a plate and let's get to it. I'm gonna start off with some cabbage, a little bit of dressing. I'm gonna put my Cornish hen on top, and man, these sweet potatoes look so so, so amazing. We're gonna add those on and just add a few pieces just to make it look cute. And then we can't forget about the sweet potato cornbread because that is a must. That is a favorite this holiday season. You don't have to be greedy like me and take a whole Cornish hen. You can definitely split it down the middle. But for the sake of this video, I just wanna show you guys the possibilities are endless. So if you made it this far, I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. Hit the like button if you want more budget-friendly videos like this, and I'll make sure I'll keep them coming out. But man, oh man, this looks so good to be a budget meal and i want to wish you and your family a happy holiday and a happy thanksgiving i hope this video helps out and i hope it brings joy to your stomach and to the kitchen table so i will see you guys on the next video until next time you guys have a good one and i'll see you soon bye